at events like Miss Universe or Miss World, you have ladies who are representing the highest standard of beauty and, and class, similar to our national carnival queen pageant. Now, when you look at bodybuilding shows, uh, from a female standpoint, you have the bikini category, you have the figure category, and you have the physique category. And those participants represent the highest standard of fitness and fat to muscle ratio. But when the lights are turned off, the judges have gone home, the audience themselves also follow suit. When you peel behind the layer of perfection, who do we get? when we meet these participants. And our purpose here today is to get to know the ladies of the National Swimsuit Pageant. Not as contestant, one, two, three, four, five, mm -mm. We want to get to know them themselves. So let's start with an important question. <coughs> New vibes are small acts. New vibes. New vibes are <laughs> <day. laughs> <laughs> Sugar vibes. Sugar vibes. All the world. <laughs> Okay, then I opened something. Okay, <laughs> what is okay? My favorite, favorite new vibe song was when I did my first official juve mm -hmm. at age, yeah, uh huh. Um, <laughs> and the song was We Don't Wanna Jam, Jam with the String Band No More. They always play something we've heard before. I wanna jump up in style, new vibe, sweet style. Okay, now that's my favorite new vibe <laughs> really? song. What what what's your what's your favorite new vibe song? Call a name. Mine is the explanation. Mine is eight six nine. Area code. Love that one. Area code. Area code. Yes. Area code is yes. What's yours? You know what's my favorite album from them? The year the original new vibes existed. Yeah, with them again. On the bandstand. Classic album. Oh yeah, that's absolutely classic album. That's very true. So, if each of you were able to speak to the teenage version of yourself. <coughs> what would you say to her? Wow, you've grown so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. Comparing from how I was before to now, I can see good, good development. Great development, actually. What would you say to her now? As you are an adult, you've lived, you've learned. She's 13 years old. She comes to you. What do you say to her as a 13 year old? Do you give to Continue glowing and growing positively. Oof, stay focused. Say what? Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. I would tell myself to live, enjoy life. Stop being inside of your head and just live. Whatever you want to do, you can always do it. You are enough. So just go forth and do it. I would <laughs> say keep pushing, keep achieving the sky's the limit you can achieve anything you put your mind yep, to yep. so you wouldn't change any what about you what would you say to your 13 year old <laughs> self all the insecurities you must have right. puberty I would, I would tell myself that you're never too young to do anything at all at any age you can be anything you want to be in life hmm. and always Always follow your dreams. It doesn't matter what it is. She's always on fancy. You know, I would tell myself, what? learn how to save. <laughs> oh, that too. <laughs> Start practice saving right. at 13. Yes. So, so you could set me up for no, you know what I'm saying? That is true. That is so also, true. Yeah. I, will take, I will tell myself to take my time and grow up because adulting. Yes, <laughs> no, it's, oh, like, no, it's, it's not true. It's, it's, it's not true. <laughs> no, it's true. When, when I lecture at CFB, I would tell the students, take your time. Yes. Yeah. Don't yeah. rush into yeah. the working Same world. Mm -hmm. Youth is wasted on the young because it's after you realize. Yeah, that's no, it's like enjoy your time now. You have essays and love them because we're in the working world. I know. <laughs> you feel like, wait. Responsibilities. And it's just you. It's never I know. ending. It's never ending. As you say that, no sleep. Can, can each of you tell me what's the biggest sacrifice you've had to make preparing for this sleep. show? Sleep. 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 Okay, sleep. nothing else. Sleep. And the food. food and food, yes. Oh. yes. So come Socializing December. Socializing time too. Socializing. Yes, yes. With well. friends and yeah, going out. Yes, pageantry and yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> more time. So what's an so average day in, in your life? Work, sessions, practice, home. Practice, yes, practice, home. work. So you get home like what, by 8.30? Yeah. Eight, 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 nine, 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 ten, ten, eleven. So you have some girls sitting down watching this show, right? What would you tell them? Be honest. 
you want, you're thinking of entering this pageant next year. Mm -hmm. What should you be aware of? It's a lot of hard work yes. and dedication. However, anything is possible. Just look at us. We look so well put together. You would <laughs> never know. You would never I know. Agree. We're probably running on like two hours of sleep. Tears. <laughs> you have to change outfit like five times. Yeah, tears. This kind of stuff is yeah. tears. You see. And you always have to be on time yeah. as well. I yeah. think you see us. You see the glitz nice and the glam. And yes. happy. And on show night, you are experiencing a very vibrant show but Behind there the is a lot that goes into preparing yourselves mentally physically yes. emotionally yes. financially yes. all yes. the allies <laughs> <laughs> to get there so don't take entering a pageant very lightly like, yes. and it's a beautiful uh, avenue for self-development and growth so right. it's yes. not just being pretty on yes. stage it's really a lot of self-development self and self-searching and it really helps you to bloom as an individual. You know and what? it's a lovely I experience as well. It's a lovely experience. Love you it. change after each time? You thing. do. Yes. yes. You yes. do. Yes. In what way? Oh, oh. I, I know some of you are experienced. It teaches you a lot of things. Yes. How time do you management. It would, it would definitely teach you about time management because mm -hmm. when you have a full-time job, plus, right. let's say, like myself, a daughter, yes. you have to span out your time. Okay, I'm going to finish work at this time. I have to collect from school this time. I have rehearsals, so this person will have to hold it. I have to pick up by this time. So you have to make sure that you're always on your P's and Q's with time management. Also, how to manage your money. Mm -hmm. that yes. Yes. <laughs> because let's say you have clothes at home for me. I like to buy new clothes. I have all these clothes home. Yeah, you can check it to me, but yeah, you yeah. can help. <laughs> so when I have a new event, I'm like, buy, I have to go buy something. Why not save that to do you here when you really want it? Why not save that to add on to whatever else, else, to your costume mm -hmm. for the show? Instead of just going go spend your money and buy something new, you know? Right. Just pick something, you mix and match. Pick something yeah. out your closet. Teach them. Wear what you have. Yes, right. wear what you have. I, yes. I agree mm -hmm. completely. Yeah. So. You know, when I, when, <coughs> when I was a teenager, um, this was about maybe about six, seven months ago. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, time flies. Mm -hmm. Back then, people looked at girls entering pageants as, oh, look, I'm broke up. No, I ain't want my daughter going to that. Yeah, what would you say to mothers with that kind of concept? That their daughter would just turn wild and run up and down the place because she entered a talented teen or a national talented teen. Do, do, had you ever heard this concept? This yeah, yeah, yeah all, all the time. time. But I think the proof is in the pudding. Right. We've had so many carnivals, so many pageants. Have you seen examples of that? That flourishing, that obvious, that, that much? Yes. We don't have those examples. So obviously that is a misconception. Yes. A lot of yes. pageants contestants participants have moved on to achieve many different accomplishments mm -hmm. and so i don't believe that that is a valid reason in 2021 it, as to you be say, quite honest discipline yes, yes. Yeah. so many speaking many yes. yes the thing is what i've realized you could have the first class degree honors mm -hmm. but if you can't present yourself and speak to to an audience you won't be you won't be able to advance right. and you won't be selected to be promoted you have to be holistic as a yes. person mm -hmm. and i think uh, pageantry really does that yeah. i would actually say as a law anybody who wants to go into politics <laughs> must do a pageant <laughs> <laughs> really <It's> so hard. <laughs> it is ridiculously hard i've heard of situations where uh say from a national kind of a queen contestant point of view her her, her evening wear it ain't land you know, somebody in another island doing it. So they had to go down the road, you know, to buy something. Mm. And you know, it's not matching up to what the other girls have, mm. but you yes. still have to go out on that stage and work, and work that simple yeah, dress. Yes. That's not easy. easy. You might win the segment and have to work it right. Yeah. True. Yes. After crying. Yes. After crying, <laughs> for sure. No, it's, not, it's not about the dress. It's, it's not about the dress. It's, it's about, about you. Okay. As a child, did, was there an item that you least liked, but now as an adult you are actually saying this ain't bad? Well, mm -hmm. what item of food? Yes, yes, food. Avocado, but you, now you love avocado. You never liked avocado. No, but now 
that that thing, I love it. <laughs> so what's up for me? I never yeah. like so what's up because you know you're young. I always thought so what's up was like Nuni. Uh, should I look up to me? Yes, yes, like, yes. Maybe smell like it and you know. <laughs> so and good then point. one time I tried a so what's up suck and I was like, oh this actually tastes good. And then I move on to the drink and then I just started eating it raw. I admire yeah. you. I can't I stand so what's up. As a child, <laughs> and I still not eat it. So what's up is enough for me. Oh. So is if I had to choose a food mm -hmm. that I didn't like when I was younger, but I love it now, yeah. bread food. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me, roast, <laughs> bake it, put it in a pie, <laughs> mash it, cheese, mash it, bread food, cheesy. <laughs> Just give me bread food. Love bread food. So what's the mo what was the moment? What was the point that it, that your love changed for it? Like somebody went I somewhere. I think the first time I tried it as a grown person and loved it from them was when I had it in the form of a breakfast cheesy. Ah yes, cheese makes everything cheesy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what about you two? Anything that you didn't like as a child that you actually love now? I hated papaya. It just smelled terrible. <laughs> and it still does. Yes. But when you eat it, when you taste it, it, it doesn't taste like how it smells. Gotcha. And it's very, very good for you. So I like it. Okay. For me, I would say a sushi. I I used to gag as a child just <laughs> eating it. Now I think I go the taste for it. Mm. Mm. So what is the best piece of advice you've been given? Whether as a teen or as an adult? Best piece of advice. Whether from as a teen, enjoy your youth. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy it. Because as we were saying earlier, when you get to that adult stage, the responsibilities they just grab you by the horns so enjoy your youth mm -hmm. you're in school you don't have any responsibilities the most you have to do as a school child is focus on your school work so do that because when you get to that adult stage and the responsibility is kicking ain't no turning back <laughs> <laughs> yeah i remember i used to buy um i used to buy perfume by little switzerland and um uh, what you call that place? Ash, Ash Ashberry. Ashberry. Before I got a mortgage. That is done. <laughs> 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 but what, what about you? What's the best piece of advice you've been given? The, well, the best piece would be basically if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. And mm -hmm. I apply that to life sometimes when I think about the pageant because sometimes every day is not going to be a good day. Mm -hmm. But I just have to think back and think out of. Uh, so many females in St. Kitts and Nevis, it's only five of us. Mm -hmm. So that has to mean something. I, I agree. And one, one segment, just in general, not, not, not speaking to your show, but I, I think the audience believes that they're perfect when it comes to an interview segment, you know? And mm. they're, they're in, sitting down relaxed, not in front of an audience themselves, and they're quick to comment or quick. If, if a contestant pauses or, or something like that, like, oh, we have share the answer. It's easy to comment when you're on the other side. Thank you. Yes. When a lady enters a pageant, you are phenomenal. You are one of only five out of the entire population. Exactly. That, that alone, getting into that stage alone is that phenomenal. Alone. Oh, yes, stand up on that stage probably. Because right. <laughs> mm. nobody is doing it. The other, the, the others are not doing it. Okay. Um, What's your favorite meal to cook? Mm. Are you cooks by Curry now? chicken. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be curry chicken yes. for you. Curry chicken and white curry. rice. Both. Yes. That's you. Stew chicken. <laughs> <Stew> chicken <laughs> for me. Stew chicken. Chicken common denominator. Okay. <laughs> mashed potatoes. <laughs> What's your I secret love ingredient love for mashed potatoes? I love spice. I want to make sure you ever eat. Mashed potatoes and spicy? Like never, never in my life. You should try it. Bring some. Add cheese to it. It's delicious. Excellent, mm -hmm. excellent. What about you, yes. Shantara? Anything with salmon. <laughs> <laughs> I like salmon, so I try different salmon recipes. Salmon and veggies. That's me. That's you. Mm -hmm. And you? What I you? said stew chicken. Stew chicken with what? Uh, I love mashed potato. Okay. And I like white rice and lentils. Mm. Mm. But as a mom, right now my daughter's favorite meal is ramen. <laughs> so I often find myself doing that a lot because she's a very picky eater. Okay. <laughs> so as you talk about eating, 
come the night of the show, the show done, right? Oops. Okay, I, I, because <laughs> I know you have to have a very strict diet right now. Right. What's the first thing you want to have backstage? Make me up with a, a big bucket of KFC. 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 Just bring it to me. Make sure it's good. Sushi. Pizza. 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 Uh, my trainer had told me that I have to not eat salt six weeks before a particular show that I entered. So I didn't eat salt. The only way I was allowed to have any measure of salt was in pepper sauce. Because according to him, uh, when you eat salt, it, it retains water. So it makes you look more bloated than you oh, actually are. I didn't know that. So after my, my experience, the first thing I had was a hamburger. And I thought I was having a heart attack. No, I mean, nothing with my chest, right? But it's like... The, the taste of because salt was so, so far yeah. so yeah. it tasted like a ah, chemical um, but your body didn't know how to act no not at all <laughs> and um, I realized I wasn't really fancying anything my brain was saying I want the hamburger but when I had the hamburger I was like I really ah, that's mm -hmm. what happened so plus that's sure exactly what Christmas. happened so. Pardon? So plus the show is before Christmas oh so uh, yeah Christmas lunches so we're ready for it <laughs> um what, what I would love for each of you to do right now is to turn to every fellow lady here in the pageant with you and tell them one thing you admire or love about them. Because go down the line. I love you speak. <laughs> I tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> say it again, say it again. <laughs> I just love how she speaks, <laughs> like she phrases, everything. Thank you. It sounds well articulated. Yes. yes. Yeah, I agree. I agree too. Okay, and her slangs. That's it. That's it. I can't, I can't because I can't. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> okay, and Gansi, what do you love or admire about her? You you going down? Oh, you you going down? Oh, yes. Okay. okay. And Gansi is like the queen of poses. Okay. Like. The queen. <laughs> <laughs> she will just give them like back. And we there thinking of ours and she done. She done back and like she done six and she done pose number like ten and we yes. just there like. <laughs> what are we doing? Okay. Yeah, let's yeah. Okay. But she's that's funny. Okay. Donna. Donna is a pop of personality <laughs> and she has a sassy one. I agree. Yes. yes. <laughs> she always modeling, hips always swinging yes. left. Right, <laughs> and she has a, a she, she personality is just you're sad, she will just come and just cheer oh, you up. That's beautiful. So, the, the personality yes. matches the walk, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, Michaela, what do you love? Michaela is very kind, yeah, she's really, she's a really sweet, sweet, yeah. She's very nice. sweet, mm -hmm. and as you can see, she's very pretty. She's very, yeah, she's yeah, very yes, pretty, no, she's very that's, sweet, that's she's my, nice. My, she keeps us okay, in hold check. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 You look at Michaela and tell her. She's very sweet and kind hearted and she keeps us in check. She keeps asking everyone if they're okay. And to me that means a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm a boy. <laughs> <laughs> what do you love about yourself? I love that I'm just cheerful. I love myself. I love to take pictures. I love to make sure everybody look good, feel good. Vibes always up. Okay. Love that. Chantal, look to everyone, tell them something you love or admire about them. I love your smile. <laughs> <laughs> yes, beautiful. I love that you make sure everybody's okay. You really do. So I love that and I appreciate that. Sometimes I'm not even thinking of something on somebody and Val is, fix it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you yeah. you don't yeah. even, you're not even focused on that, but she's going she to see it. it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I love. I hope to be like you. <laughs> Engazi, I love that Engazi is always prepared. If you need a napkin, oh, yeah. oh, 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 if, you need a, if you need a charger, yeah. if you need a anything, you're going straight to Engazi. She couldn't out the has it. You kidding me? So she's the mother. So she's the mother of the group. Right. Oh. So that's what I love. So you got needle and thread. No, she probably yeah. does. No, like no need to learn no trash. She being modest. Pins. Napkins, pins, wipes. <laughs> yeah, you have, yeah. Okay. 
I love Madonna's personality. She is one to take it back down. Sometimes you might be nervous or focused on this, but then she comes and talks to you and reminds you that it, this is this is just something we have to do. This is life. This is, you know, it's just a portion of your life. Don't take it too seriously. Just relax. And she brings the humor to it. So it, yes. it, it makes you a little more comfortable, yes, a little more relaxed. Michalia is funny. <laughs> she is that funny. Right yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we're practicing and she would just say a little something, whisper it, and you're cracking up. <laughs> okay, that mother, so comedian. True. Yes, okay. she is a comedian. So that's what I love about you, girl. Excellent. Thank God. I'll start on that. Come around. Michalia. Um, she's very beautiful. The scholar, in my mind, the little chocolate baby of the group. So she's very pretty, and as my counterpart says, she's the comedian. Rodana, I love her sense of humor as well. One day we had a session, and we were doing a TikTok, and the TikTok ended, but Rodana went back in, <laughs> and she was doing a <laughs> little, little bunny hop. Yeah, I love her sense of humor. <laughs> Shantara. I've known Shantara for a while, mm -hmm. but she's a very sweet soul and she's well articulated as Valencia said. And Valencia, even though she claimed I'm the queen of poses, she's the queen of photos. Yes. You need your photo taken, Val is right there to do it for you. And she's a very kind hearted person as well. So mm -hmm. I love that about her. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'll Where start. Should I'll start. <laughs> Michaelia, she's so kind. She makes sure everybody's good. You need a lift this place? How are you getting home? You sure you don't want me to wait on you? Yes, that's oh, her. That's she's yeah. sweet. She's funny too. <laughs> she, she's really funny. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then. <laughs> and Gazi, I love the blow. She always ready according to what Shantara said. She always prepared. She always say, you need help with something? Let me do it for you. If you can't get it done, yes. Yeah, thank this is you a guys. competition, really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yesterday, yesterday, I came in here and a total mess. They fixed it. Not the show, you mean for the show? For the show. Oh, I must look at it again. Oh, yeah, yeah, it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, so I cannot do the same. <laughs> <laughs> so like, no, come, come me trying to put it together. And yes. I was like, come, no, come, let me help you. Let me we help you. Friends. You have more pain, you have yes. more. Rubber bands, Silent. and they put it together. Oh, that is gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Shantara, Shantara, they give really good advice. If you need advice, yes. check Shantara. Yeah, she's the type of person. Check Shantara. Mm -hmm. And I love the way she speaks as well. She has a really good personality. Nice. Valencia, with the styles. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> she has a really good smile. She's kind as well. Yes. She makes sure everybody reach home safe. Even when you don't fast asleep, everybody sleeping, everybody don't reach home. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. Yeah. What do you love? About, I meant to ask you. I'm gonna come back. I'll come back around to you. What do you love about yourself? I love that I'm confident. Confident enough to do anything I want to. You know, you have um, persons like they might be like, okay, I love myself. But maybe I think I love myself that much to do this. I don't think I love myself that much to put myself right there. But I took the opportunity to put myself in a position where I okay, to see if I will go from it or if I will fall from it. But if you fall, you know, you can learn from it and I move on and do better. Yes. So that's what I love about myself. Okay. Shantara, what do you love about yourself? I love that I am, I've grown to be more open and outgoing and willing to try things. So when I said I wanted to tell my younger self to just do it that's why because I was very in my head and afraid to do things and I would see people doing things and think I could do that but shy and timid and not wanting to do it because of that so now I love that I am more open and adventurous I love my resilience because mm -hmm. I'll be totally honest with this whole journey especially dealing with a toddler a four year old Sometimes I get home and I'll be like, okay, that's it. Yeah, I'm over it. Yeah. I call in Sam. I'm pulling out. I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, Sam. I'm done. <laughs> but then I'll sit down and I'll say, okay, Gazi, you've come this far. You don't know who is watching you. You don't know who else is out there who have a daughter and want to enter the show. So stay focused. 
you soon reach the end. Just a couple more weeks. Stay mm -hmm. focused. So I love my resilience throughout this journey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Michaela, you're gonna look at, but I don't wish anyone to stand and tell everybody what you love, one thing you love or admire. Okay, okay since Val is facing me, I'll start with <laughs> Okay, Val, I love your smile. I think that you're very pretty. And I love your sass. You all have some sass, and I really love that. <laughs> and you're very kind. Shantaro, you are laid back, but um, as the other said, you really give good advice and as well as you're speaking very fluently and your teeth, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> I love it, it's true. <laughs> and, and Gazi, fashion, I love fashion and I think you, yeah, with the shoes and earrings and everything, girl, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Thank and you. I think that you're very sweet and I think that we have a really great connection mm -hmm. and Rodano, I love your confidence, the way you walk and you glide. Mm -hmm. I really love that about you, and I think that you're very sweet. Mm -hmm. And, about and I appreciate all of you. Kiss you, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And what do you love about yourself? What I love about myself is my ambition. My ambition. I never give up. Never. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Do you want this to come? Well, I have one more question. Um, and then I would ask, I would allow each of you to ask me a question if you wish. Um, karaoke, you're going on the stage. What is the song you're going to request to sing? What's your karaoke song? Michaela Houston. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Okay, drop tune. Which one? Do you want me to sing? You want yeah. To right now? Sure, why not? I mean, you know, you're she's going to sure. Oh, she's a she really good singer. Are you joking? Did did she was the one that the Oh, okay. She even got serenaded. Yes. All right, so she she is right. Miss okay. Cameo. Come, Cameo. which, which song from Whitney? Um, share my life. Okay, got you one line chorus, um, open verse. Share my life, take me for what I am, because I'll never change all my colors for you. <laughs> what would be your karaoke song? Hmm. Uh, it has okay. to be a sofa song. Okay, right? okay. <laughs> I love Patrice Robert. Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. My favorite song by Patrice Robert is Real Woman. I don't know if you ever heard. I'm not sure. I'm not a singer, so I can't. <laughs> you, you're not going to even try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it goes like Real Woman, I mean that you hear them. Are you near them? Yes, that's oh, right. Okay, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> so that's that's what you would sing at karaoke. Yes. Okay. What would be your your choice? Anything from Jenny Aiko. <clears throat> ah. Yeah, okay. I, I love Jenny Aiko. You want like one line? No. <laughs> <laughs> Chantal. I will not be on the stage for karaoke. Oh, I cannot. Oh, come on. One line. I would just pick a calypso. Okay. Something regular. Okay. Okay. That's okay. all you have to do is chant. And that's me. I am not going to show myself and the try. To remember to no, no, no. I, I know my lane. That is not my lane. <laughs> really? But do you sing in the shower? Do you sing at home? To myself. At a yes. whisper? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like, so what would be your, your karaoke choice? I love um, anything from Whitney Houston, Celine yeah. Dion, Mariah ah. Carey. Ooh. I try to Ooh. sing. Okay. In my head, <laughs> I am a great singer. <laughs> I <agree. laughs> and I always say everybody can sing, but in everybody's song, but it doesn't have to matter. Okay, so you right. want to run a line and put one of your songs? <laughs> Go ahead. It doesn't matter, as you say. <laughs> he or she. <laughs> she said it. <laughs> oh, I want to dance with somebody. What? I oh. want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I want to dance with somebody. Come on. With somebody <laughs> who loves me. Okay. You have to go with all of those things. Okay. Upon the hour, and the sun that. begins to <laughs> fade. Still enough time to figure out how to chase my blues away. I don't know next. I wanna live. Do you know? Is that anything that shows me how? Yes. 
And when the night falls, my lonely heart calls. Okay, you know that? Oh. <laughs> I love that song as well. Um, okay, so any question? One question for me, B. The host? Yeah. What advice would you give us since we're on this journey? And you, and you would have done a similar yes. show. show. So a similar <laughs> experience. And yes. And you, trust me, you're much more experienced than I. <laughs> uh -huh. I. The one thing I would say, I recall coming from practice in Sandy Point, and I was the chauffeur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I would pick up everybody, take them, come back. And we stopped at Neville's. And every man ja jumped out of Neville's, <laughs> no, jumped out of my vehicle to go into Neville's to have chicken and chips. I opened my bag and I took up my tin of sardine, peeled it back, and I ate. I feel that for the moment, sacrifice. Yes. Do what you have to do because it's not forever. And I mm. feel you on that. <laughs> I was like, I ain't eating no Neville, no. And I love Neville, don't get me wrong, I'm a boy. But for the show, I, I had to do what I had I to do to make do, myself prepare. I do tuna and rice cake. And trust me, I just feel like. Yeah, do what you got to do. <laughs> I remember seeing an interview of a fitness lady, she says, Food should not be eaten to be enjoyed. It should be eaten for the body's benefit. Uh, I just be thinking people once say that. I feel full, the feeling gone. Yeah. Hmm. True. So that's my advice. Just uh, sacrifice. sacrifice for the moment in time. Don't let your mind or your body say, "Girl, no, go for that." Or don't wake up for another hour. <laughs> I, I I remember that um, uh, when I started training for the show, my vehicle broke down for mm -hmm. four months, and I lived in St. Peter's, and the gym I trained at was I rip behind the fire station. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 I never catch a bus in my life. I live St. Peter. Sorry, yes. Um, but now I'm bad on the bus catching now. Um, <laughs> so I didn't think about, okay, you could hop on a bus and get close to the gym. The only option I had in my head was to walk it. Mm -hmm. And so I would, um, I would lay out my clothes the night before. And I would, bef I would hold the knob of the door. So I would leave home about 4 o'clock. Because hmm. the gym opened at 5 a.m. Yes. Yes. And it's dark. I mean, the stars it's in the dark. sky yeah. still. And I would say a word of prayer, okay. and I said, "Let's do this, God." And I have, a, but I'm prepared at the mo at, at the same time. So yeah. I had those vests that would, uh, when the, the car light reflects on it, you know, they would yeah. see that mm -hmm. there's a okay. human on yes. the road. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there is a road now that everybody goes through at the bottom of the runway. Yes. Right yes. now in Saint Peter's. Yes. Yes. In my time, that was bush, oh. and I was not going to walk all the way up to come down by the TDC. Oh, I, walk, I walked, walked straight through. I walked wow. there for four months, and I had a flashlight and a prayer. So at the beginning of that shortcut, <laughs> for four months, I would start off by saying, omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God, protect me as I walk through this, you know, this path. Mm -hmm. And I would just talk aloud. And I said to myself, anybody in the bush, they think I'm crazy. Right. <laughs> right? So um, yeah. when I got to the other end, prayer done, go and continue walking yeah. to the gym. Um, but you just, just don't give up. You just have one life to live. I remember when, at the point, I said, should you give up? Because you don't have trans. You never catch a bus from St. Peter's. And I said, I know how it feels to have a big belly. I don't know how it feels to have a six pack. Mm. I'm going for it. I like that. Love it. That's, yeah, that's how you look at life. Love but you're accustomed to on what's something new that you can achieve. Mm. It's okay to fake. It is. It is. <laughs> My God, you know, these things I've done already. And we just start. <laughs> any, any other questions? <laughs> Tell us what it was like opening this book cafe. Um, hmm. Well, firstly, if it if you speak to the six year old or the eight year old or the ten year old, I was. That's the only thing I wanted to do. I wanted to be CEO of my own company. Mm. So, when the opportunity arose for me to do it, I knew there was no other option at all. Uh, it was tough because I was turned down. I I was made redundant. Mm -hmm. Firstly, so I trying to find a job mm -hmm. and as I tried to find a job I said to myself you're gonna sit down nine to five you know ma? you know you want to start your own business you're gonna be depressed mm -hmm. you're not gonna give that job your all mm -hmm. why are you gonna fool yourself and go for a nine to five mm -hmm. couldn't find a nine to five and I decided you know what let me try for a business and I I, <laughs> I asked my father to lend me some money to start it during carnival because I thought if I could prove mm -hmm. that people want soap, yeah. I could take those statistics to an entity, a financial mm -hmm. entity, and get money. So my father said, no, he ain't give me no money. I was like, dad, I don't have a job. 
I mean, I'm trying, I'm not asking you to support me. I'm doing something that I could do mm -hmm. to, you know, put myself, to, to, to support myself. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. He said, no. He said, all right then. <laughs> <laughs> At the time, I'd gotten a three month stint with Flo. And this was November, just before the December. And uh, instead of paying my mortgage, I just took the money and I bought the ingredients, the initial ingredients, and that was it. So yeah, National Bank was calling me. I'm like, yeah, not this month. <laughs> 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 but it was very, 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 very hard. Yeah. And I wouldn't wish, uh, it's entrepreneurship is not easy. It's not glamorous at, at all. all. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't sleep eight hours. Uh, you know, you have to decide which bill gonna get paid this month, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and you don't see a financial reward until about the fifth or the sixth year. So the mm -hmm. first five or six years the of business, year, you're, you're squinting. Yeah. You know how much pants, jean pants I have home that like, you know, I just, <laughs> like there's like, because my legs were, there's a hole in between there and I just take it to a tailor. So, so it's a good as new. And I'm thinking, wait, if I had money, I would have been <laughs> buying a new pair of jeans yeah. and it's a waste of money, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, but yes, y the struggle is R E A L. Mm -hmm. However, though, it's wonderful to be saying, you know, I'm going to work today. <laughs> yeah, because it's you. Yeah, you know, yeah. like, you know, ladies, hold on for me. I'm going to stay home and sleep today. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's what also is gratifying is that what I feel about business, you are serving a need, you're not making money. You're giving back to society. And when I see a teenager come in, a um, um, male, a teenage male at 11, 12, wanting a salad. So you're setting in their mind from 11, what kind of eating they're gonna do when they're in their 20s or when they get to university. That's powerful. I mean, I've, I've done my bit on this earth. That, that, that alone makes me feel accomplished. Mm. Very much so. But it's hard. It's really hard and I would not advise anyone Think about entering entrepreneurship and thinking, oh, it's glamorous and it's money. No, not entrepreneur. They don't let them fool you. And you know something too. Uh, I don't know if I, this is just an aside. There'll be times when the revenue is not there, mm -hmm. but you have your bills, and people do what they have to do to survive. And I would see, you would hear of of you know women entrepreneurs who would society you know frowns on them if they tax her. A gentleman for an extra cash or something like that. Meh. We don't say that thing. We said, do what you got to do. <laughs> do what you got to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not saying, I'm not judging the act. All I'm saying is, I feel you. I understand, I understand what you're understand. going through right. because you didn't make enough revenue to, to, to meet your bills and you need the help. So just, just between you and your God. But it's, it's a wonderful experience. I wouldn't change my life. I've had a lot of ups and downs. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world. You know, people ask me, we ain't want a child. I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, it's like, not everybody is born, you know, to be a mother. Yes. And I wanted to be a CEO. That's the only thing I ever wanted to be. I remember somebody, a taxi man, stopped me in the, in, in, in the circus and said, um, so why you stop up so? I'm like, what? I'm running to him. I'm trying to get some groceries. <laughs> He stopped. I'm trying to be polite. He said, where you stop up, sir? He said, what are you talking about? He said, up, sir, in the AC. I said, what are you talking about? He said, why you stop teach? You mean you got a master's to come back here and sell soup? I was like, wow. People don't respect entrepreneurs at all. No. They think once you have a degree, you're supposed to, to be in work for somebody. Correct. Yes. What a degree does is give you confidence. It shows you that uh, you are resilient because you know going through essays and failing and coming yes. back again, you know all of that. A degree doesn't mean that you're supposed to be in an office. It means that you have the ability yes. to do what you want. Yes. Exactly. And I was like, wow, damn. And then about like Funny how you think. Huh? It, it just it's just like no, I and you, I'm thinking. I was like, I'm Oprah Winfrey. It's just that Oprah got more money than me. <laughs> she exactly. and I exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I've I've gotten responses like that from family members, from friends, um, but I just stay true to myself. Yeah. Or, uh, you could oh, tell. Yeah. You know, my don't look left nor right. <laughs> I just stay true to myself, and it's easy, like easier to live that way, because mm -hmm. you're not trying to satisfy anybody, anybody else. That's a witch, you know. It's a huge way. Lord, man, going out to my house, coming on makeup because this person and that person gonna say this. Me. Yeah, I'm, I can't be bothered. Mm. It's Unbothered too much. Completely. <laughs> it's too yeah, much to deal with. Okay. I can't. I cannot. So that's our friendly chat with our ladies. 
uh, my new friends, even with my new acquaintances. <laughs> I had a fantastic time. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, Thank you for, for coming as well. Yes.